Well, for me, uh, the, my game-changing moment, I would say, was uh, I was in my early 20s. Um, I was out touring with a three-piece rock and roll band, straight ahead rock band. We were from Dallas. And uh, we'd done some regional stuff, but we'd never really done anything cross-country. So we, uh, through our booking agency, small booking agency we had at the time, we had the opportunity to like do a, you know, an entire West Coast tour up and down. The band that we ended up touring with was this band called Juice 13, and it was Randy Castillo, um, who's probably one of my biggest influences. At the beginning of this run, this two-week run, it was like, uh, it was it was really nerve-wracking because here it is, like, I'd look over at the monitor desk and, you know, Randy's standing there kind of grooving, kind of watching, and I'm like, this isn't happening, you know, and I'm trying just the thing, and, and the kicker is that you know, at that point, I mean, most all my moves that came as far as showmanship, dude, I ripped off from him. When I say it's a game-changing moment, for me it was when I, I felt like a member of the broader drum community. You know, when you get to hang out and meet people that have influenced you as a player, and, and you meet them and they turn out to be just the coolest, amazing people, I mean, that's the lessons that you, that you can learn and the experience the experiences you can gather from them, uh, it's, it's kind of what, what this whole thing is about. For example, like the second day of the, the, the run, we were out for like two weeks, and I had cracked my main crash. And, uh, and it was like, you know, I don't have backups, you know what I mean? It was like not even, I mean, I barely, I think I, I was given plasma to buy sticks, you know what I mean? It was one of those deals. Um, and. Uh, I remember Castillo had, he, he had his tech like, you know, and his tech like pulled out, you know, he had a stack of backups or whatever and he, he put it on my kit and I finished the set and everything. And at the end of the run, um, when I went to give it back to Randy, he's like, dude, that's yours, man. That's, you know, and he signed it for me and everything and it was cool. But it was those nights, you know, like after, after we get off stage and we sit backstage and we talk about, uh, you know, girls or drumming or life or whatever it was, I'd never really felt like, you know, somebody that I admired so much and, and who was such a big influence on me would treat me as an, as an equal. You know, now, all these years later, you know, I've kind of, I, you know, with my career, I've been able to be on tour and, and kind of like, if there's bands, you know, there's maybe support bands or, um, if I'm in a headlining act or whatever, I can like take all that and kind of pay it forward, so to speak. Maybe it's just some advice, or maybe it's just, you know, um, listening to somebody, or that like just kind of nurturing that fire, you know, so to speak. So for me, that was it.